Behold, braless bohemian big booby Burke. Mary Burke Cameron is an ex-investment advisor who has since turned TikTok, YouTube shorts, and Instagram star, mainly due to her bodacious buxom boobies. Now, let's figure out exactly who this person is. I was first informed of Mary Burke's existence in the online space over YouTube shorts. Now, being a middle-aged male, I can assume that YouTube only wanted to show me her for one reason, and one reason alone. As I've said before, and I will continue to say throughout this video, it is because of her massive memories. Besides a boob job that looks a little bit older than I am, she seems to be trying to break into a space that's being heavily encumbered by women who are way below her age group. And for that, I can applaud her. She's doing her best to break into a space that is not of her demographic typically. And she seems to be doing a pretty good job of exactly that. Besides inundating us with what a 50 year old woman's idea of what the kids do is, she has a couple of TikToks or YouTube shorts that just seem a little off. Here, let me show you what I mean. Poor Arnie isn't happy. It's all right, Arnie. Firstly, what I want to talk about is the fact that she kind of just stares blankly into the camera for a little bit while standing on some steps, I assume, to her house. And uh, it seems a little odd, creepy, maybe. And then uh, just kind of briefly talks about a goat that seems to be braying in the background. And that's it. That's the whole video. Now, I'm pretty sure that she's just pandering for time. I think that she has an upload schedule that kind of goes wild because in the last couple of days, I've seen that she's posted in the middle of the night to the middle of the day. There doesn't seem to be any schedule, but I think she's going for quantity over quality. Besides this one weird video out of a plethora that are on her channel, and this is just talking about YouTube, uh, doesn't seem to be a whole lot else. Now, she does do a lot with sort of working outdoors or making things with her own two hands, woodworking, carpentry, craft work type things. Now, this fits the demographic that she's targeting in her sort of videos. Like I said before, middle-aged cisgendered men. It's one thing to see a woman on camera and it's another thing to see a woman on camera doing manly things. It appeals to us. It appeals to our deeper sense of what we think a woman should be. At least that's my take on it. Now, sometimes it's a little bit weird with the videos that she does put out, but you know what? She's doing what she knows will get her views. And uh, as we can see from her YouTube page, she freely says that she also has an OnlyFans account. We can infer from this that she knows that this, her target demographic is definitely going to be looking for a little bit more content. She seems to be pandering towards the more simple-minded, if you will. As I've said before, with anybody who's interested in seeing more of a certain individual online, that feels the need to search it out, will actually find it relatively easily without having to pay hardly anything at all other than time. A quick Google search will get you most of what you want on the internet nowadays without paying any money out of your actual pocket. Now, I'm not saying don't support the content creators that you enjoy. I'm just saying that if you enjoy them, sometimes you can find those things for free. And for the simple-minded, you might want to look there first, rather than continue down this rabbit hole of debauchery. Now, I realize in the past I've harped on a lot about content creators who go against the TOS online, typically. It doesn't seem like Mary fits that bill. It seems to me like she's doing exactly what she needs to do in order to push the web traffic towards the areas where she's going to be making the most money. TikTok probably pays her, YouTube probably pays her. You never know, Instagram might pay her. I'm not exactly sure that happens, but it could be a thing. And I can condone that. You gotta get on the grind. You gotta be able to make your own money somehow. And if you can do it by being eye candy to anybody on the internet, why not? 
why not do just that? Call it jealousy, call it me being a simpleton, call it what you want. But if you want to call it, comment down below. I've been Bogart, and I'm out.